death toll from the collapsed six-story building belonging to the Synagogue Church of All Nations has reached 17. This figure is hotly agreed, or excuse me, jointly agreed by both the National Emergency Management Authority and the Lagos State Emergency Management Authority. They also say over 120 survivors have so far been rescued from the debris while rescue operations are still going on. It was a four-story building that they are trying to elevate to a six-story building. So it's both a mixture that they are, they are using it and they are doing construction on it. And if you look around, you can still see some sand, granite and some cement. And um, you can still see a, um, some of the equipment used for construction. The operation is still ongoing. We've put in all our machinery in place. We are on top of all our challenges and the operation is smooth, prompt, effective and efficient. The people rescued uh, death at 16. But you know, when he was talking, the uh, figure continued changing. As of now, we have about uh, 109. We have about 109 alive now. And that's a very good, positive response by the church, all the organizations who participated in this rescue. Okay. So when you see different uh, nationals around here, we have a lot of information flowing around, and that's why we need immediately when this happened, we call the church members, let us work to avoid rumor mingling around. But uh, initially they didn't uh, understand what we were trying to arrive at, but now everything has been resolved, whether they are uh, foreigners or not. When it comes to foreign uh, nationals involved, it's a different angle of emergency management globally. It's no longer a local or states is going to be an international and national emergency response.